Hello and welcome to Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight, a series where I give a more subdued and informative look on the weapons of Phantom Forces. In this episode, I'll be covering the newly rebalanced K2. The K2 is a Korean assault rifle unlocked at rank 42. It deals 33 damage up to 45 studs and falls off to 20 damage by 185 studs. It fires at 770 RPM with a 1.1x body multiplier and a 1.4x head multiplier. The muzzle velocity is 2400 studs per second and the penetration depth is standard 1 stud. Here is the shot's kill table. It has low recoil and holds 30 rounds in a magazine with 120 rounds of reserve or 5.56 NATO rounds. The reload speed is 2.3 seconds and the empty reload speed is 3.5 seconds. The walk speed is 14 and the aim speed is sort of slow at 14. The K2 is an amazing automatic that works well at just about any range. It can free shot kill at close range and it has pretty good above average fire rate that lets it compete with PDWs and shotguns. In medium range, the free shot kill range extends a little bit into here and it's just 4 shot kill all the way. It's got really good recoil so it also shreds people at medium range. At long range, it sort of works. The 4 shot kill goes up to 150 studs so you don't have to worry about damage that much. But like all automatics, it's always a bit of a gamble to fight people beyond 100 studs. The K2 is honestly really strong now after the rebalance and I'd argue it could even be put in S tier alongside the other meta rifles. So I'm just gonna compare the K2 to the good old HK416 to see how well it fits. What I found was that they're basically on par with each other. Almost the exact same recoil too. The K2 even edges out the HK416 in close range body shots but in medium range and beyond, the HK416 wins overall purely because of its higher fire rate. Damage wise though, it's about the same in medium range and beyond as well. So yeah, the K2 is definitely like a mid S tier weapon. How about that? Now I would usually cover notable attachments and conversions here in this section. Unfortunately, the K2 doesn't have any of those, but I want to quickly go over retract stock as it could be considered but it's a pretty hard decision to make. With retract stock, the recoil sits on this weird middle ground between feeling bad and feeling good, like it's barely serviceable, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. So if you really need walk speed, sure you can take retract stock, but you don't really need walk speed when you have so much range, so you can have to kind of think about that decision. And that concludes this rather short, I think, episode of Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.